To our Husky Mania coverage tonight, a lot of people showing off their Husky Pride sporting t-shirts and sweatshirts, you name it. And we all know UConn is hot, hot, hot right mm -hmm. now. So are businesses seeing a buying frenzy? News 8's Tina Detail has the very latest on the economic impact of Husky Mania right here at home. As soon as you walk into the doors here at Dick's Sporting Goods in Waterford, they have exactly what a lot of people are looking for right away. These are the official locker room t-shirts for both the men and women. And look at this rack. They had a whole bunch more just a few days ago. That's been a, a, you know, very popular with the customers. Hot items as the Yukon men and women head to the championship games. Business started picking up as soon as they made the Sweet 16 and has continued to grow with each win. After um, Saturday's game, it's been, uh, you know, phone calls and people have been coming in um, ask, asking for the stuff. Dan Busha, a UConn alum himself. I snagged this as last one, so. <laughs> Year-round UConn gear, always in style, but with the national championship, this and, uh, is the shirt to have. The official locker room tee the players also wear. <laughs> Sports bars are also cashing in on the craze. Normally quiet Monday and Tuesday nights will be filled with Husky fans at Buffalo Wild Wings and things. This is pretty good for business. Right? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, we've already seen a good trend from the past weekends. Oh, they're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Yep. How about the women? Oh, uh, they're going to win also. Dicks can't say how much new gear they'll have if the Huskies win, but they say they'll have plenty. If they don't win, we won't have it now, but uh, we're not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> and when the men do win, Dick's and many stores will have that official gear bright and early Tuesday morning. This store plans to open at 6 a.m., three hours early. In Waterford, Tina Detell, News 8.